Continuing with E.B. White's classic, Charlotte's Web. Uh, this is chapter number 12, titled A Meeting. One evening, a few days after the writing had appeared in Charlotte's Web, the spider called a meeting of all the animals to the barn silver. I shall begin by calling Roll. Wilbur? Here, said the pig. Gander? Here, here, said the gander. You sound like three ganders, muttered Charlotte. Why can't you just say here? Why do you have to repeat everything? It's my idio, idio, idiosyncrasy, replied the gander. Goose, said Charlotte. Here, 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 said the goose. Charlotte glared at her. Goslings one through seven. Bay, 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 said the goslings. This is getting to be quite a meeting, said Charlotte. Anybody would think we had three ganders, three geese, and 21 goslings. Sheep? Mass, answer the sheep all together. Lambs, yeah, answer the lambs all together. Templeton, no answer. Templeton, no answer. Well, we are all here except the rat, said Charlotte. I guess we can proceed without him. Now, all of you have noticed what's been going on around here in the last few days. The message I wrote in my web, praising Wilbur, has been received. The Zuckermans have fallen for it, and so for everybody else. Zuckerman thinks Wilbur is an unusual pig, and therefore he won't want to kill him and eat him. I dare say my trick will work and Wilbur's life can be saved. Hooray, cried everybody. Thank you very much, said Charlotte. Now I call this meeting in order to get suggestions. I need new ideas for the web. People are already getting sick of reading the word some pig. If anybody can think of another message or remark, I'll be glad to weave it into the web. Any suggestions for a new slogan? How about Pig Supreme? asked one of the lambs. No good, said Charlotte. It sounds like a rich dessert. How about terrific, 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 asked the goose. Cut that down to one terrific and it will do very nicely, said Charlotte. I think terrific might impress Zuckerman. But Charlotte said Wilbur, but, but Charlotte said Wilbur, I'm not terrific. That doesn't make a particle of difference, replied Charlotte, not a particle. People believe almost anything they see in print. Does anybody here know how to spell terrific? I think, said the gander. It's T double E double R double double I double F. Double C S C C C. What kind of an acrobat do you think I am? said Charlotte in disgust. I would have to have St. Vitus dance to weave a word like that into my web. Sorry, 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 said the gander. Then the oldest sheep spoke up. I agree that there should be something new written in the web if Wilbur's life is to be saved. And if Charlotte needs help in finding words, I think she can get in front and get it from our friend Templeton. The rat visits the dump regularly and has access to old magazines. He can tear out bits of advertisements and bring them up here to the barn cellar so that Charlotte can have something to copy. Good idea, said Charlotte, but I'm not sure Templeton will be willing to help. You know how he is, always looking out for himself, never thinking of the other fellow. I bet I can get him to help, said the old sheep. I appeal to his baser instincts, of which he has plenty. Here he comes now. Everybody keep quiet while I put the matter up to him. The rat entered the barn the way he always did, creeping along close to the wall. What's up, he asked, seeing the animals assembled. We're holding a director's meeting, replied the old sheep. Well, break it up, said Templeton. Meetings bore me, and the rat began to climb a rope that hung against the wall. Look, said the old sheep, next time you go to the dump, Templeton, bring back a clipping from a magazine. Charlotte needs new ideas so she can write messages in her web and save Wilbur's life. Let him die, said the rat. I should worry. You'll worry all right when next winter comes, said the sheep. You'll worry all right on a zero morning next January when Wilbur is dead and nobody comes down here with a nice pail of warm slops to pour into the trout. Wilbur's leftover food is your chief source of supply, Templeton. You know that. Wilbur's food is your food. Therefore, Wilbur's destiny is your destiny are closely linked. If Wilbur is killed and his trout stands empty day after day, you'll grow so thin we can look right through your stomach and see objects on the other side. Templeton's whiskers quivered. Maybe you're right, he said gruffly. I'm making a trip to the dump tomorrow afternoon. I'll bring back a magazine clipping if I can find one. Thanks, said Charlotte. The meeting is now adjourned. I have a busy evening ahead of me. I've got to tear my web apart and write terrific. Wilbur blushed. But I'm not terrific, Charlotte. I'm just an average for a pig. You're terrific as far as I'm concerned, replied Charlotte sweetly. And that's what counts. You're my best friend, and I think you're sensational. Now stop arguing and go get some sleep. That was uh, chapter 12 from uh, E.B. White's lovely book, Charlotte's Web. 
I encourage you to follow along. This book is available at, at your local library or your local school library. And if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and put your comments down below. What did you think of chapter 12? Thanks for watching.